New World Order Update. The Sky is Falling. Posted by John Kettler. New World Order Under Attack on All Levels. Things are not looking good for the New World Order, and that's true in the variety of ways. A stupendous lawsuit has been brought against it by 122 nations, and good people are being murdered in consequence, but the suit goes forward regardless. Similarly, the New World Order's U.S. economic arm, the Federal Reserve System, is being sued on a bunch of fronts, to include this successful one by Bloomberg which revealed illegal loans totaling as much as 1.2 trillion of our money. These, though, are the least of its problems. New World Order Extraterrestrials, Extradimensionals, Timelines and Dimensional Shifts Things would be a lot worse for the New World Order had higher order problems not interfered with the extraterrestrials extra-dimensionals, here to liberate Earth. These have repeatedly created situations in which strikes are executed on New World Order facilities and New World Order equipment, are reported back for terrestrial confirmation, yet nothing's found to have happened, causing consternation, perplexity and upsets on both ends. Conducting anti-New World Order military operations from higher dimensions into our reality is not easy and generates all sorts of head-splitting problems. For example, in which timeline was the New World Order target struck? Is the New World Order threat being seen and reported by the extraterrestrials, extra-dimensionals, there now, or are they seeing the future? When will the strike externalize here? Things get even more complicated when an ally arrives and winds up learning this stuff the hard way. Fortunately, meetings have been held, the problems sorted out, and things are now happening. Last night, the Navy aircraft flying out of Pensacola reported seeing a bright flash to the south. What lies to the south? Venezuela. Does this, perhaps, mean that something bad has happened to those Masudan Mod 1i. R. B. Meter as intermediate range ballistic missiles this blog previously reported? Sure hope so, considering that updated intelligence revealed the presence of 20 fully loaded transporter erector launcher, not 10, each with a spare fully fueled missile, for a total of 40, doubling the New World Order missile threat to most of the contiguous U.S. New World Order to receive, condign punishment, but human casualties to be limited. The extraterrestrials, extra-dimensionals, are deliberately following a policy of surgical strike, wherever possible, in an effort to minimize the loss of innocent human lives. If, though, you happen to be, say, in a New World Order by a warfare facility in North Korea, your New World Order Israel's underground nuclear weapon assembly plant, below the Demona reactor when the extraterrestrials, extra-dimensionals, strike from above in several meanings of that term, then it's just not your day you'll be dead, one way or another. The extraterrestrials, extra-dimensionals, have the ability to do things like kill loaded transporter erector launchers, but without harming the troops ringed around them. New World Order clones in lots of different sectors will start breaking down following repeated strikes on their support facilities. The breakdown of clone New World Order public figures should prove quite a shock to the public, which thinks of such matters only in terms of science fiction. New World Order, The Shape of Things to Come 
New World Order. It's time to face facts. You don't get to start World War III in the Persian Gulf. No New World Order operation is going to be allowed to attack Iran. Every such attempt to do so will fail. New World Order Iran won't be allowed to start World War III, either. For every move will be countered, and Iran is being further defanged. For soon her submarines will be gone. Likewise Israel's. This will dramatically drop the temperature in the Persian Gulf, by eliminating opportunities for clashes to occur, but dangers remain. New World Order Iranian speedboats loaded with explosives and contact fused for kamikaze attack on the tankers have switched from scary last-minute breakaway dry runs to the real deal. Disaster was narrowly averted when the tanker captain fired walled his throttles, creating a bow wave which capsized his would-be killer. The U.S. Navy is now arming tankers transiting the Gulf, apparently with machine guns and possibly grenade launcher equipped teams. Iran has yet to receive chastisement for causing the present missile crisis, but the extraterrestrials, extradimensionals, haven't forgotten and are really quite irritated over the matter. While the U.S. is showing unprecedented restraint, New World Order Israel remains like a rabbit dog. It's still fully mobilized, at huge expense, and is expected to strike. It had better not. Aircraft could find themselves pancaking into invisible walls, equipment could be made to permanently fail, and, if they feel like it, the extraterrestrials, extradimensionals, have the means to instantly destroy Israel's entire manufacturing base, which is considerable, driving that nation back to what it was like in the beginning. The New World Order's China Gambit against the U.S. Please visit John's website. Great books available www.johnkettler.com